Thanks to the tireless work of my colleague from Nebraska, Senator Fisher, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act encourages more employers to provide paid family leave. That's good news for millions of American families that will welcome a child this year. Now, my Democratic colleagues like to speak about the importance of paid leave, but not a single one of them voted with us, not one. Every Democrat in the House and in the Senate voted against the bill that included Senator Fisher's paid family leave incentives. Every one of them voted against a bill that included the bigger standard deduction and the doubling of the child tariff credit and lower income tax rates. Fortunately, we passed this historic achievement, achievement despite their efforts to stop it. And thanks to every Republican who voted for tax reform, both Walmart and Lowe's have announced expansions of both maternity and paternity leave. CVS is creating an entirely new parental leave program. In Wisconsin, where only one of two senators voted for reform, American Family Insurance is expanding its family leave benefits. So is Broad Ridge Financial Solutions in New York, despite both senators from New York voting against it. This is only the beginning. My Democratic colleagues said tax reform would bring about Armageddon. Armageddon. They said nothing in our bill would help American workers. But the proof is in the pudding. The evidence is piling up, and middle-class families all over the country are glad their Congress and their president made tax reform a reality.